Welcome to your faith update. This morning while reading in my Bible, I came across the temptation of Jesus Christ. There in Matthew chapter 4, we note that he was led of the Spirit out into the wilderness. For 40 days and 40 nights, he would neither eat nor drink anything. It was then that Satan came along tempting. You know, I think it's important to remember that Satan will often tempt us in our weakest moments. And that's exactly what he did with the Lord Jesus Christ. In this particular case, in verses 8 through 10, we read again that the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. After making this offer of the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them, he then says, I'll give them all to you if you'll fall down and worship me. How would Jesus respond? Well, of course, he would tell him, hey, Satan, get out of here. I want to remind you, devil, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve. Now, I think it's important to note that the Lord Jesus Christ combines worshiping the Lord with serving Him as well. It's like if we're going to worship God, we'll be serving God as well. Can I tell you that the devil wants to do everything in his power to keep you from worshiping and serving the Lord? I know that the Lord was tempted of Satan, but you know, so will you and I be. He was made an offer. And you know what? The devil will make us some offers. I wonder, is there anything that Satan could offer you that would keep you from worshiping and serving the Lord Jesus Christ? I hope the answer is no. But I also realize that we're just flesh. That's why the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, 31 said, I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. Paul the Apostle recognized how weak he was, and he said, I die daily. Every day I die to my desires. Every day I die to self. I know how easily tempted I can become. I know how easy it is to be swayed, even away from the Lord at times when I'm weak. I want to encourage you, especially if you're going through a difficult time in your life, to be expecting the devil to make an offer. Boy, I've watched people take up his offer at times. Maybe it was for love or leisure, maybe for laughs or even a job. They've said, you know what, I'll take your offer. Instead of worshiping and serving the Lord, well, I'll go this direction. I want to encourage you to keep serving Jesus. Keep worshiping the Master. You never let the devil tempt you to the point where you take his offer. Do like Jesus did. Say, hey, get out of here. Enough is enough. I'm finished with that. Devil, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. May you and I never be guilty of accepting Satan's offer, but instead... May we always be faithful to worship and serve the Master. God bless you.